السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. In the previous lecture, we addressed the concept of syntactic structure. We have seen the phrase structure and argument structure. In today's lecture, we will start a new chapter, which is about syntactic representation. In this syntactic representation, we basically introduce the famous Chomskyan X-bar theory, and we will see how this theory can be implemented to the noun phrase as a typical lexical category. And later on, we will see how we can uh, generalize this X-bar schema to represent other types of categories, uh, whether they are lexical or functional or inflectional. So uh, by now, it should be evident that a sentence is not just a string of words put next to each other. A sentence is, of course, a string of words, but they are combined together to form units, which in turn combine to form larger units. In other words, there is a hierarchy in the ordering of words within a sentence. So in the forthcoming slides, we will examine the different levels of hierarchy that can be identified within a sentence. So ultimately, at the end, we want to derive an abstract schema which is common to all the word categories introduced in the previous sections. So this abstract schema is called X-bar theory, uh, represented by means of a tree diagram as shown below. So we start from the bottom to the top. In the bottom nodes, we have the head, which is X, associated with a complement. And I told you before that in generative syntax, a complement may refer to the traditional meaning of complement or any kind of object is a complement. So X with its complement or object together, they project into an X bar. X bar is an intermediate category that we are going to see and we will provide arguments to see that it uh, in fact, it, 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 it basically exists in, in the data of language. So the X bar and a specifier, and specifier refer to determiners also, both together, they project into an XP, and XP represents a maximal projection, the maximal projection, which refers to the phrasal categories. So X is a word level category, XP is a phrase level category, and X bar is an intermediate level category. So X bar theory is a theory of syntactic representation. Before we proceed, there are some terminological clarifications that are in order. First of all, we have the term or X and X bar are variables which are very common in uh, mathematics. Why do we have them in such a linguistic theory? The answer simply Chomsky is uh, as you know, in his background, he was a mathematician and physician. So he is obsessed with the mathematical abstraction of the linguistic theory. That is why he tries to build his theory in such a way as to reveal uh, uh, the language universals underlying all human, uh, all human languages. So X is a variable which refers to uh, any kind of category. That is why they advanced this X bar theory Second, why do we say that it's a theory? Very simply, because it was first proposed by Noam Chomsky in 1970, and it was further developed by other linguists, and it is still subjected to other modifications and improvements. So it's a theory, and it's not a scientific fact, which is uh, uh, not which cannot be changed. No, it's always okay, subjected and uh, viable to uh, modifications and 
improvement and changes. How different is it from the previous system? Systems of syntactic representation, X bar theory embodies two independent claims, and they are important, two important and independent claims. The first one is that phrase structure is hierarchically built on three level categories instead of two. As we know before, uh, the, the, there are only two level categories in traditional grammar or in previous syntactic traditions and uh, theories, the word level categories and phrase level categories. Now, Chomsky says that we have to introduce another level category, which is an intermediate level category between, between uh, uh, word level categories and phrase level categories. Second, this system of pro projected constituency may be common to more than one category. It is generalized to all types of categories, uh, whether they are nouns or verbs, adjectives, prepositions, uh, sometimes if they, even if they are uh, inflectional categories like tense, aspect, mood, or agreement, or negative particles, and so on. Uh, what does the first claim mean? Uh, the first claim, uh, uh, which is about uh, having a third level category, it simply means that uh, pre in previous syntactic traditions, only two level categories okay, are recognized word level category, it consists of units such as simple nouns, simple verbs, simple adjectives, and so on, or phrase level category, which is consists of which consists of phrases like a noun, a phrase, a verb phrase, adjective phrase, adverb phrase, and so on. Chomsky argues that this taxonomy of two level categories should be extended to include a third type of categories, which is intermediate between word level categories and phrase level categories. For example, Chomsky suggests that uh, to add an intermediate nominal constituent larger than N and smaller than NP. And we will see how this is argued for and how he provides evidence for this proposal. So in the second claim, Chomsky postulates that this system of representation called the X-bar schema can be generalized to all types of categories, be they lexical categories, functional categories, or inflectional categories. So in what forms we will dig in our analysis by considering the X bar schema of these lexical categories, noun phrases, adjective phrases, adverb phrases, and verb phrases. So let's start by uh, uh, considering the X bar schema of the noun phrase. Okay, you have a noun phrase in front of you, this intelligent student. This noun phrase consists of a determiner, which is this, a modifier, which is intelligent, and a head, which is student. The whole nominal construct is an NP. This is considered phrase level, phrase level category. It consists of determiner, adjective, and a head. Where is the intermediate nominal category? So if the whole phrase, this intelligent student is, uh, 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 is, is a phrase, a uh, noun phrase, and if student low is ahead, it's a word level category. So where is the intermediate nominal category? Or what are the constituents of this noun phrase, okay, which can be limited and said to formulate an intermediate nominal category? The answer, we said in the section of constituency tests, that substitution is one of the efficient tools that are used to identify and determine syntactic constituents or categories. So let's consider the substitution operation below. If we say, which intelligent student as a question, the answer that we'll have is this one. So as you can see, one is a proform which substitutes for intelligent student, meaning it substitutes for the adjective and the head noun, but not for the whole noun phrase, which consists of a determiner plus the adjective plus the noun. This means that intelligent student, which consists of an adjective and the noun, is an intermediate nominal constituent, which is larger than the head noun student, but smaller than the whole noun phrase, in which we find a determiner plus adjective plus a noun. So simply, 
I want to say that intelligent student, which consists of adjective plus noun, head, is the intermediate level category, the intermediate noun phrase. Let's see some other evidence which support this claim of having an intermediate noun phrase. Another kind of evidence in favor of this uh, postulated intermediate nominal category also comes from noun phrases which post modifiers with post modifiers such as the present king of England is more popular than the last one. As you can see, one again is a pro form which substitutes for king of England which consists of a noun plus a post modifier, which is a prepositional phrase, but not the whole NP, which consists of the determiner, the, the adjective present, the head noun, king, and the prepositional phrase of England. Therefore, we can conclude that king of England is an in-bar constituent, which is larger than N, the head, king, and smaller than the whole MP, which is the present king of England. Further evidence comes from okay, facts of coordination, as illustrated in this uh, coordinated uh, sentence. He is an intelligent student and excellent actor. In these two coordinated noun phrases, we find that there is, we, we, we coordinate between intelligent student and excellent actor. These are two parallel constituents, okay? Which are larger than the head. In the first one, intelligent student, student is the head, and actor is the head in the second one. So these two are larger than the head, and they are smaller than the full-fledged noun phrase. The full-fledged noun phrase consists of a determiner plus adjective plus the head. So, as a conclusion, both proform test and coordination test provide strong empirical evidence in favor of positing an n-bar category which can be represented in a position higher than simple noun and lower than noun phrase. So, the noun phrase x-bar schema, okay, is going to be uh, as drawn in front of you for both types of noun phrases, whether we have a noun phrase with a pre-modifier or a noun phrase with a post-modifier. So in A, this intelligent student, here we have a noun phrase with a pre-modifier. And as you can see, the representation consists of the maximal projection, which is the noun phrase, which has a specifier, which is this, and then the head intelligent, okay, and then, uh, uh, sorry, the modifier, adjective is intelligent and then the head at the end student and the, the other kind of of, uh, uh, of uh, noun phrase where we have a post modifier the king of england you can see now that the noun phrase this noun phrase consists of the specifier which is the the head which is king and of england as a preposition phrase and you can also have the present king of england and then you have both pre-modifier and post-modifier. You can just add another in bar, and then you will project both the uh, post-modifier and pre-modifier of the, of the noun phrase. So that's the end of our lecture today. Well, in the next lecture, we're going to see how to how we're going to implement this this uh, X bar schema to other. Uh, lexical categories, namely the verb phrase, the adjective phrase, and the other phrase. Thank you very much, and see you then.